Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. As Amir al-Mu'minin is leaving this world, Imam Hassan comes into the room, he's crying. As he begins to cry, Amir al-Mu'minin looks towards him. He says, son Hassan, what are you crying for? He says, father, why shouldn't I cry? He says, son Hassan, if you're going to cry like this, what's Zainab going to do? Imam Hassan stops crying then. He says, Hassan, this time will go. He says, Hassan though, where's my Hussein? I can't see my Hussein. I don't know where my Hussein. Call oh, my Hussein. Imam Hassan goes into a room. He sees Hussein is sitting there and crying. They see he was crying so much with choking on his tongue. At that moment, you know what Imam Hassan says? He says, Brother Hussein, if you cry like this, what's our father going to say? Our father's calling you. He says, Imam Hussein gets up. He goes towards his father. As he goes towards his father, Amir al Mu'minin looks at his son. Imam Hussein begins to cry. At that moment, Amir al Mu'minin says, He says, Son, why do you cry for like this? You know what he replies? He says, Father, when our grandfather passed away, you were there to put our hand over our head to hug us to console us when our mother Zahra left this world father you were there to put your hand over our head to hug us father this isn't Medina father this is Kufa and father you're leaving us and you're going who's going to be there father to come and to hold us to put us to our chest at that moment Imam says he says Hussein this time will pass but you know what the tradition says? The tradition says when Zainab comes in and she begins to cry, Amir al-Mu'mineen can't take it anymore. Amir al-Mu'mineen begins to cry. He says to all of his companions, go from here because Zainab is crying. Amir al-Mu'mineen, you couldn't take the tears of Zainab. What happened in Sham al gariba when they were attacking the tents? At that moment, Zainab comes in. Zainab sits with Amir al-Mu'mineen. In the tradition, it says Amir al-Mu'mineen dies on the on the lap of Zainab. When he puts his head on the lap of Zainab, the tradition says he whispers something to Zainab. That thing I looked everywhere in all of the books to find. I found it in one place. I asked one ayatollah, what did Amir al-Mu'mineen whisper? He says this to her, says, when Zainab was standing on Bazar al-Sham, she wasn't going into the Bazar. Shimmer came, began to whip her. She wouldn't go in. Umar ibn Sa'ad came, says, go in. She wouldn't go in. All of the women were told, tell Zainab to go in. She wouldn't go in. Finally, Sajjad comes. She says, Aunt Zainab, I can't take it that Shimur is beating you like this. But tell me, why don't you go into the bazaar? At that moment, Zainab replies. You know what she replies? She says, when my father was leaving this world, he said to me, Zainab, a time will come where you're going to be standing next to Bazaar al-Sham. Says, Zainab, no one thing. All of the crowd will be there chucking stones at you. Zainab, at that moment, and remember, Zainab, don't lose hope. Zainab, no one thing. I'm going to come and I'm going to grab you by the hand and I'm going to take you into Bazar Sham. At that moment, Zainab said, she says, Sajjad, I'm waiting for my father to come. She looks towards Najib. She says, she says, Father, where are you? I'm coming to Bazar Sham. Where are you to take me by my hand and to take me into the Bazar? Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi